Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Crucial Classics, and if this is your first here, definitely take a look around at our channel. We have plenty of content for you to binge. If you love old movies, then you've landed in the right spot because we watch them together from start to finish on this channel. Let me start by showing you the wall in my living room. It's decorated like this just because old movies are important for the past 31 years. So, just wanted to interact with you guys a little bit. Uh, I had the cutest little comment share <laughs> between myself and a viewer this past weekend when we had the premiere of... What was the movie? Stage Door. Um, that was just so cool. Like, it was so cool to see a viewer there waiting for the premiere to come on and just making a comment that they were glad I was showing the movie. Watch along, right? I don't show the movies. And um, I really appreciated that. Like, that was just so cute and sweet. Um, I would just ask if you guys, we're still on the growth spurt, you know, so as you make use of the channel, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, if you do enjoy the content, um, you guys are doing a great job of subscribing, and I don't know, I think that there are some kind of more popular videos on the channel that maybe continue to gain subscribers, um, but definitely stay tuned, you guys. We're going to keep this content coming, uh, no shortage of it, and uh, hopefully I'm turning you on to movies that are either the really great and it's just like hey yay and hooray like let's watch this movie together because the point of anything going up on this channel i found access to it if i can find it you can find it place where i share information exactly about that is over on my pinterest site so go ahead and check that out there's always a link for it in the description of every video i make a board for each film that we watch just filled with pictures from that um, content and then within there is where I share any information about spaces I see that we have access to the content um let's see what else yeah just I don't know the views are I don't for the past week or so they've maybe started coming down a little bit um so I would say watch you know if you're a subscriber go ahead and t tune in I've committed to trying to give myself a schedule you guys i have created a schedule for the month of november which is something new that i tried this month too the only thing about that people is that i shared my schedule with you um i've always kind of had a schedule because you know i'm watching these films so <laughs> they're they're happening by some schedule right <laughs> and i just thought that uh, I would share that schedule with you. So check that video out too. Um, but again, if you like that, if you would like me to give you that heads up of what's coming up within the month, give me some engagement on that video. It is now the trailer video for the channel. And then it's just definitely within the uploads playlist um, on my channel. If you just, I'm talking about the layout of my whole overall channel on my main YouTube page. So like on my TV, there's always this go to channel button and then now, and I actually have it up on my screen right now. So I see my little banner, we watch the Crucial Classics, I've added a little note on the side. But new movies come Saturdays at 8 a.m. That's something new this month that I thought, you know, maybe that will help you guys know better when to be tuning in, like a set day and time. We had already kind of morphed over into hovering on the weekends. Um, sometimes it was Saturday, sometimes it was Sunday. It just, I have seen that when I upload stuff on Saturdays for you guys, that seems to be most convenient for you because you seem to watch them more on Saturdays. So um, I just thought, let me give it to you earlier in Saturday to give you as much time that day to make use of the content. And then just so that I can be building my business, I need to regularly be adding content over onto our member site that I mentioned to you guys many times. Um, but those uploads will be happening weekly as well and just Sundays at 8 a.m. So go ahead and please do consider uh, joining me over on that site too. I hate um, doing, <laughs> in a way, it's like this half and half thing. I hate watching great movies and they are going to be like the greatest movies. Um, this upcoming weekend, I am getting ready to do the watch along for Singing in the Rain and I hate 
taking the time to do that and putting it over there and it's just sitting there and, and you guys are not coming and watching those films with me because what we already have over there is Gone with the Wind. I know you guys want to watch Gone with the Wind <laughs> with me. So you can sign up for a monthly membership or you can rent any title $2 for 30 days. I've told you guys I've made one sale in the months that I've had the site up and that's fine. My feelings cannot be hurt about that because I have not been putting my focus into the site. I've explained the process to you guys. I'm a one person show. It really was time consuming for me to get everything appearance wise set up the way that I wanted it on that site. Um, just so that it's the template and going forward I can just put my content over there. So again, I explain, I've seen my growth happening here. I've got only so much time as a resource, right? So I've put my resource of time focus into this channel. I love the way we're growing. I love the momentum that we're on here. Um, but just for business wise, I've got to kind of I'm not reinventing a wheel, people. That's what I totally understand. In no way, shape, or form am I reinventing a wheel. There's, you know, just two major, well, there's three major reaction channels that I have been exposed to here on YouTube that have hundreds of thousands of channel subscribers. They are always um, letting you know in the playback of every one of their videos on their YouTube channel. They tell you to hop over to their Patreon site too. You can easily take a look over there. It's, if, as a creator, you know, just wanting to see what's the wheel that they've invented so I don't have to, you know, modify it in any way. Just following, you know, kind of what happens over on the paid sites and those people have thousands of people that have joined them over on their paid site. So by me asking you guys to consider doing the same thing, don't feel like I'm trying to scam you or, you know, something that's not legit. It's, it's definitely, I'm just following the model. And so, um, yeah, I, I, know that I need to take my time to give you guys content over there to even make it something to subscribe to. But in a way, it's kind of always a little bit just sad when I put something up over there. <laughs> because you know what, it's just this, this channel is just a really good um, test for life. It's how are you going to respond to things? You're going to keep it positive? You're going to just give up. You know what I mean? I am loving that I'm not giving up. And so when I did see that somebody, I will just call you Miss J. I don't know if you were a real <laughs> viewer of my content or if you were somebody on that platform saying, this girl, I made a sale in six months. She's going to have to say, let's test it for her. Make sure this damn thing works. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know who it was that actually rented Roman Holiday over on my paid site, but I hope the experience was um, easy for you. Uh, they have 24 hour support, customer support via chat. They are real time. If you've got a question, you make use of that. They pop up. They are talking to you. It's real time. Um, 24 hours a day. They have told me they are available. Um, and it's a platform that many a YouTube creator, that's the only way that I even found out to know to do my site over on this site is because I've seen so many of my favorite YouTube creators use this site, people. So it's a legit site. I'm doing a legit, just continuing upping the ante on the quality of films. I feel like there's probably nothing less than four star movies over there. We have, let me just come and join me, rent or join the membership. We started with Gone with the Wind. We have Out of the Past. We have All About Eve. We have The Nun Story with Audrey Hepburn. We have The Postman Always Rings Twice. I finally got around to watching Citizen Kane to see what all the hype was about that. There's something else that I have forgotten to say because we had seven titles by the time that I got to Citizen Kane. Um, we have The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2. We are getting ready to add um, Singing in the Rain this weekend. So, you know, I don't want to just go on and on and on about this, but um, I would love for you guys to really just start joining me. It's not about the money part of it, but it's about, don't you guys want to continue to watch like the best of these films? 
Now let's just, that's kind of a segue into the locket. The locket is not going to be one of the best films that we are ever going to watch in cinema, right? But why I like it is because in the history of just my doing old movies here on YouTube, I used to have movie channels where all I did was upload the movies. You saw no part of my face, voice, nothing. I was just putting up the content. And in looking for new movies to try and add, I kept coming across the locket, had never seen this movie, but would just see in the thumbnail of it, there was a picture of Robert Mitchum in the rain day sitting at a table. And I was like, ooh, what's that movie? So I would try and upload it. And it was like this, if it was gonna be able to get onto YouTube, I was gonna watch the movie for the first time. It would never be allowed to come up, so I never watched it. It's been this year on my little TV, whatever that channel is. You guys, I mention it all the time. My movies little channel, um, they were playing it. I loved it. I was like, ooh, this is really such a good movie, and I am so sorry. Y'all see Robert Mitchum, if you ever navigate to just the homepage of my YouTube channel. He's one of the stars that I have in my little artwork that I have created. I, I have, um, mm, Robert Mitchum is a problem. You know what I'm saying? He is just way too freaking high. You know what I mean? And so if you struggle to watch a movie with him and not just be kind of really preoccupied with that, um, this movie is, mm, you're welcome. Okay. Because it is early in the forties and um, actually I will I need to look up exactly when in the 40s it is it might not be that early in the 40s but anyway he is looking so good in this movie <laughs> and this little dynamic that he's got going on with Lorraine Day is mm, 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 mm. so uh, I really like this uh, picture with Lorraine Day though too I just looked her up in Wikipedia so she was from a wealthy family, a Mormon family. They all moved out to California. She started acting in a little troupe. I feel like it was in high school. It, w it was called the Long Beach Player. So it wasn't something associated with her school, but that was the age she was when she got into it. They said Robert Mitchum was a part of this. That's how she got discovered. She got a contract first. I feel like what they said, um, Goldwyn or something uh, she they said she has a quick little role in Stella Dallas in 1937 and then after that movie they dropped her from her contract because they said she didn't have any talent she didn't let that stop her that's what you know what people I had my little site going for six months and then just one day when I was going about my regular just staying Johnny on the spot with it adding these titles over there because I'm giving you packages an ad free package of all the stuff that's on here and an exclusive films package I am probably going to be uh, coming up with another package sooner than later. I'm either going to come up with another package over there or I'm going to come up with yet another channel and I know that this channel will do very well. So just, you know what I mean? Like I am not letting it deter me, but she made her little appearance in Stella Dallas and they dropped her because she said she didn't have any talent. You know what? She kept it moving. Um, she was working at RKO. She just kept getting her little contract. She got a contract with MGM. Um, and then they said, like, kind of one of her, of her most well-known uh, continuing roles is in this Dr. Kildare. Now, I've seen that so many times, but it's just right now that I got a little bit more information. They said she, it's so, I think it is literally about a doctor. You guys, I know you guys have seen this. I have never seen one of the Dr. Kildare movies because, I don't know, I think the fact that it's like a serial turn me off or something I'm like oh they must not be very good movies but I'm thinking that maybe they really are because turns out I guess Lou Ayers is Dr. Kildare I love Lou Ayers Lou Ayers gives me like a serious actor like a good actor so we may have to watch all of the Dr. Kildare movies if I can find them like start out by watching one see what we think and keep it going but they said they made seven of those movies together um she was married this was interesting. She was married. She got an interlocurier. I don't know. Interlocuri? I had to hover over what it defined that it was. It was like it wasn't a really official divorce because a part of it being granted to her at that point in time was that she was not allowed to marry again for a year. And I feel like then after a year would have passed, her divorce would have really been official. She is like hovering around the year. She goes down to Mexico to get a divorce on top of this one she'd already been granted and told she had to wait a year. She comes back, comes to El Paso, marries this other dude. 
who turned out to be like the manager of the New York Giants or whatever. Immediately, the judge that had this other one said, oh, hell no, you can't jump the year. Go down to Mexico. That's not legal. Your next marriage is not legal. So she <laughs> was now technically being charged with like bigamy. She had to wait. I feel like she, I feel like she had to wait another year and then her and dude got married and she was with him until 1960. They, she got real into baseball, though, just learning as much as she could. She became known as the first lady of baseball. And then um, she married again, and I feel like she was probably married to that guy until her dad. Like, she got married in the 60s, and I feel like she stayed married until she passed away. And she had her kids, uh, two kids, with this last marriage. So it was just cool to get a little bit more of a story on Lorraine Day. But yeah, I loved it. Um, she did TV shows. She had her own little TV show, The Lorraine Day Show. Uh, did radio. She does the Lux Theater. Uh, so yeah, she. I love that. Don't let setbacks or people's opinions, <laughs> people thumbing down your content or people like not watching your content like stop you from just this is my joy this is my passion project y'all see my wall this wall is what got set up and decorated in this house as soon as I moved in here which has been years before I started this YouTube channel so I'm just being true to me I'm watching the content that I like I'm sharing my passion and my joy with you I know that's resonating with those of you that it is and yeah like guess what I know as well as I continue to be dedicated to my little membership site that's just also going to be a part of my business that starts to thrive as well so I can't expect you guys to be um, coming off of hard-earned coin in this day and age until it is um, worth it but I appreciate so much whoever Miss J was that already just took a roll of the dice and went ahead and got her 30-day access ad-free to Roman Holiday which is the highest watched movie on this channel and I think maybe she just didn't want to have to be interrupted with ads so that's the value of doing that people I've got every single movie on this channel plus seven or eight more that I just didn't re-upload over here that are in that package five dollars a month totally um, a slideable scale it can go up to I think I capped it at eight that's what I loved about that little platform that I'm using it's donation I know you're donation minded I know you're monetary support minded to come and make use of my work that I'm doing over there as well you know I just hope that you guys appreciate that right it's like your girl is working I'm a little worker okay I'm not being idle with my time I have watched at least eight or nine movies that are <laughs> over there and they're going to continue to grow I've given you the list of films that are coming for the month of November we have singing in the rain Jezebel um, the Elephant Walk, The Yearling. Um, more than likely for the month of December, I may not be putting titles up over on the member site because I have come across so many Christmas titles that are going to be able to be Saturday and Sunday uploads right here on this channel. Like I don't, ha I've found access to so many of the major Christmas movies that I cannot justify charging you guys to watch those with me when I have found that ease of use access to them. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the month of December. We're going to do Saturday and Sunday Christmas movies. Just be ready for those. But yeah, just continue to hang out with me, guys. Um, any little bit of support, extra support, if that is being subscribed and tuning in on the weekly basis, if that is being subscribed and giving the thumbs up so that I don't have like a video where it's got one like because that's the like that I've had to put on it as I watch my playbacks, you know, so help me out. It's just, um, it all makes a difference. It all helps with um, pushing out my content to getting uh you know in front of uh, the right audience so let us go with this one I will look up the year and um I don't want to really spoil this one for you I'm hoping this is also a movie that you haven't seen 50 times and yeah definitely go ahead and let's watch this one it's it's an interesting movie again like I said I like it as a role for Lorraine Day if you've seen her in Mr. Lucky come and watch a new Lorraine Day movie with me. All right, let me uh, get everything queued up and then I will just tell you what year we're dealing with for this one. Okay, 1946, he was brutal. 
Um, he's, he is kind of bizarre. Leonard Malton has, hold on, let me just show you. Leonard Malton gives critique from knowing this much about film. And so he just read this movie for being a yet another film. And it's like, Leonard Malton, this is a rare movie. This has some big stars earlier in their careers. They give strong performances in this. It is a mystery. It catches you. If you love Robert Mitchum and you want to see a little bit more of Lorraine Day, I would say definitely come and join me. And sometimes you have to take critiques with the grain of salt. I love the way Lorraine Day kept it moving after getting dropped from a contract after making one picture and being told that she had no talent and she had a career in Hollywood. So... <laughs> Let us playing in three, two, one, click, go. <laughs> okay, RKO. Robert Mitchum did a lot of pictures there, I think. That must be where he had his contract. Um, out of the Past. Did I tell you guys that movie is over on my member site? That might have been one that I forgot to tell you. He did that one with RKO. movie is loud as hell. I already only had it up halfway and <laughs> it was blasting my ears. I like this music. We got the executive producer. He's usually always the second to last credit. I was like, are we not going to see these? Gowns are by Michael Wolf. Okay. All right, let's go. It's not a very long movie either, so. Sometimes there's value in seeing something that you've never seen before. Like that's definitely the appeal to this. This is probably actually gonna be my first time watching it from start to finish with no commercials, right? Oh yeah, I do remember how it starts here. Mm. Okay, well this guy's just a crap talker, right? Who are these people? these people are they parents of the groom or you know what I mean like just aunts an aunt and uncle okay well wow okay <laughs> quickly. Oh, she's got to give him a kiss. On the mouth. Oh, wow. Okay. That girl right there is in Mr. Corey with Tony Curtis. <gasps> she's in Houseboat as a blonde. Because it's going really fast. Oh, okay. This lady. She's reading everybody. Well, what's the sign? Okay, 
what are the flaws? This is the music they play in Notorious. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, did she say Scorpio? I have no idea about the Zodiacs, but um, I feel like she just said Scorpio. Oh, well, hey. Yes! Oh, this is the day of their wedding? Um, he'll say it's none of your business, so the answer is no. <laughs> He's defensive about that. Oh. Oh, he knows she's still going by Nancy? Okay. Izzy wants to go get her. Well, yeah, because it's today that he's supposed to be getting married. Did she just tell the truth about that? All right, well, Phil, you just found out. Is okay, so it's it really is the third. <laughs> Well, you just found that out yourself. He was getting ready to marry her today and he didn't know her birthday. Oh, so now he does want to hear what's going on. So steady now, huh? Brian Ahern, huh? He's, um... In that movie with Glenn Ford and Rita Hayworth? The lady in question? Look how cute her little hair is! So what Nancy does is she love bombs people, men. Oh, well, damn, dude. Your psychiatric training isn't very strong then because he should have been getting all kinds of red flags. She's love bombing him to just be coming on so strong right away. I love this little dress that she's got on. I love the top and the bottom. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, then that's not what Nancy's um, deal is then, right? She ain't a gold digger. <laughs> but she's got some kind of trip. So, did she stage that little bike crash that they had? Are they already in Okay, palm trees in Miami. Oh, because I was going to say, are they engaged? Damn, they got married in a few days. Okay, so she's just a great little housewife, huh? She's changed up this little apartment. It looks like different paint color. Okay. Did she bankrupt you just now to do it for her? Because you said you didn't have no money. <laughs> Is this all from the Renaissance Center? <laughs> 
Her little hair, I love the way that her hair is styled in this movie. Oh, she's perfect little housewife. She's getting his briefcase for him. Oh, a flower for his lapel. After she just made a great little breakfast for him. Uh, all right, darling. He is young. Oh. Mm. Everybody, everything is happening the next day, huh? Hear him out, dude. Oh, okay. Oh. Don't you want to hear it? Does he? Oh, uh, they basically are about to do a little session. Okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, so he's going to start asking some questions. Okay. Well, you're not about to do that? Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. A masochistic. Mm. Dude feels that way too about her, huh? Oh, yeah, and you can't forget. Um, this is a good movie. I love her hair like that. She is so cute. Her little dimple in her chin and his too. Damn it. <laughs> She doesn't feel like she has talent. <laughs> oh, well, what is she there for? Oh, he's going to get offended. Is she rich? Well, I don't... Did that come up yet? Right? Okay. 
That is her pad, huh? Okay, Mitsum. Yeah, because you basically let her know that she needed to do that, huh? Oh. Okay. Yeah, dude, I mean, he reads people for filth right off of the bat, huh? He jumps to conclusions. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. To brood, huh? To be alone. Is she going to be there? He's going to psychoanalyze himself. He comes here on a regular basis, right? If she's in here... Okay, Mitchum. You're self-destructive. Mm. Oh, and she's drawing. Or no, she's not. Oh, she's not. Oh. This was the scene. I've seen them. Oh. Okay, yeah. I mean, well, what were you trying to serve with the way you acted then? Oh, okay, all right. Nice. <laughs> oh, so that's why she was there. I like the music. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. He, huh. <laughs> mm. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, I was like the next day. Okay. Um. Oh, she. Catch him off guard. Her little classes. So how does he encourage them? Oh. 
It does it look like her in the face? Not so much. Okay. Well, those eyes are telling a story. Okay. Mm. Oh, so he hasn't committed and she's leaving with him. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the way he would. He's not sure. He's just been invited to bring six of his paintings and because of where it is and the people that he's able to show them to he has to think about it is he here do we see him is that him what a board oh so he just wins a little award here at this dinner oh that's his man <clears throat> oh, oh, well, okay. <laughs> oh, she'd buy it. Oh, Mitchum doesn't really like that, huh? Look at it. his mind's racing a little bit. Five thousand. Did he just sell it? So whenever she wears her jewelry, he has a detective, a private detective, a part of the party here. Is that the way he just proposed to her? Oh, he said, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, he took her out. Okay. He just asked her to marry him, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. So she already knew. So, all right, he's already talking about marriage to her, but not directly enough. She's waiting for him to put the nickel in. Okay, Roberts, Mitchum. going to confront her on it right away. Hmm. Wow. He 
he didn't say anything until they got her all the way in there. Well, yeah, he does want to keep it between the two of them. Oh, she don't deny it? <laughs> Oh, she pulled it out. Is she about to put it on? Oh, well, that's how you own them now? She's creepy the way that she's responding to this, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. She's not wanting to hawk it. She was alone. about psychoanalysis. Oh, she gonna have a little session with him now? She has a traumatizing experience though, let's, let's be fair. Hmm. Oh, uh, is she living in this house? Oh. They can't be seen playing together. Oh, jeez. Who is she? This little girl's mother? She's not allowed to be playing with the help. That's a very classist, rude, teaching your children um, they're better than other people answer that she just gave to this little girl, and you know she heard. Maybe they were pecan. It was like pecan ice cream, and he would put a Coke, not a Coke, Pepsi. He always did Pepsi, and a, just oh my gosh! But that ice cream with the uh, maybe they were walnuts, little like praline. Oh my gosh! That just brought back childhood taste memories, people. Y'all know I am a foodie, and the vanilla cake and the walnut ice cream. Please, can I have some of that? sad this little girl is having to peek through the door that's what she said her life consists of having to peek through doors oh is she being this obvious about bringing her a slice of this cake okay she said I would give you everything the girls got who'd she get it from 
little girl. I mean, this little girl is really nice. She is not absorbing the bad lessons that are being taught to her. She is a sweet little girl anyway. And okay, the locket. There we go. Wow, Nancy. Okay. Okay, she's trying to show people. Okay, so she's showing a whole bunch of people. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, some people are like that. My little nephew, when he was so little, he fell and just hurt himself one time. Just, he fell, and he was crying like this. We had to tell him that it wasn't his fault, and he didn't mean to hurt himself. He's so precious. <laughs> but we, you didn't mean to hurt yourself. <laughs> oh. She's telling her? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mm. 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 All right, well, Nancy's not, um, learning right here. Hmm. Yeah, that's not sinking into Nancy, huh? saying like she's had some traumatizing childhood wounds that um, she did not heal and she just did what she did and she's telling Robert Mitchum she's psychoanalyzing herself she's getting to the root cause oh she gotta be in this room alone with this bitch This woman is totally responsible for the fact that the locket is missing. Well, you took it off of her. Look at her. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, Nancy's standing up for herself. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Listen, look at her. <laughs> I'm always 
always needing to use my handkerchief. Huh? I always have a little runny nose too, but damn, like that was disgusting, that woman, and she told her to use her handkerchief. <laughs> there, she's gonna find this locket, right? There's the locket, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, she snatched it off of Nancy. When has she had an opportunity to get back to this locket? Oh, she knows this whole house is in an uproar looking for this thing. What's going on between these two up in here, though? Okay. She's just now done wiping her nose. Why is this lady going to respond the way that she does? She doesn't believe that. Look at the way she's going to handle this. Okay, stand up. Yeah, well... Look at her. Okay. Okay. Wow. The locket got lodged in that little girl's dress as she was taking it off at the end of her party. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Nancy. All right. I've already been blamed and accused. Okay. Give it back. Mel won't send stuff like that. I've asked. <laughs> they say you have to have a sender's address. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to see this. I have gone to the post office. Oh, look at them. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He sent it back. We don't see that. Oh, they were engaged now. Oh, they're going slower. They're not already married. Hmm. For her, he's trying to get her to overcome her fears. Like she can show her face because that thing she did before didn't happen. Look at how much better he looks. I was going to comment before that he wasn't very dressed up at that first gathering. It was like, Robert Mitchum, you don't have like this. Now he does, because he's arrived, right? Like, there was his big painting on display. He must be making much better money now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And his wife is in a wheelchair, and that was exactly where his mind ran to as soon as he saw that woman, because he already was saying 
that that had to be the type of arrangement that Nancy has with her boss that he pays for her to go take That person didn't just see them. And nobody else heard that. just gonna leave this party <laughs> stay with him are they leaving <laughs> oh is there one in this party of people is she gonna run down and ask for a doctor? Is there a doctor in that? Or she knows. Oh, they're still standing there. Okay, well you did not get a doctor, lady. Oh, that's why they have an elevator, too. Oh, he called the police. Were they at this trial? The valet. Oh, uh, the valet? The man that discovered him? Killed that man. Oh, she just said, liked. Aren't y'all engaged? Okay, so. This is it. That's the extent. So she said the valet, if the valet didn't do him, who could have? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is not about a bracelet. 
something hadn't influenced her. She just opens the door. <clears throat> what? Why do you step back from her? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, he just said if you were, you wouldn't be here. What's gone? Um, she went Dallas, give her the Oscar. <laughs> what? <laughs> and bumped into you on the bike. On the trail. Yeah, like, the next day she kept it moving. Yeah. Mmm. The valet. Oh, that's your woman. That's your wife. So because of that, yeah. and all of that just to destroy her oh how she never had to testify He's just handing out pills. <laughs> to him. Yeah, I mean, come on, Clyde. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I mean, that's, oh, today's session is not about her. Is, is her time up to? <laughs> um, just in a way, Robert Mitchum, knowing how conniving she is, why would he? Well, she ain't been home all day. And no, dude. Find room for them tomorrow. So she hasn't been answering the phone all day. Is she home though? They have a cute little apartment, huh? Okay, yeah, where has she been all day long? Not answering the phone. And dude is supposed to be here at six. You know that's the only reason why he's here right now, just to get home on time. Where is she? So he is seriously convincing himself that the only reason Robert Mitchum has this story to tell is he's trying to destroy Nancy. It's in the paper. Well, show us. Okay. Um, that's jacked up because he found the man and was the only one that called the police, the valet. Because the valet told that old lady to go get a doctor. She took her time, went up to the lady in the wheelchair, and didn't call nobody, get any help. And then the valet came down and said, the police are on the phone and they want everybody to stay in here. And because he tried to get help, he gets convicted because he was the person first to see the body. Oh, um, Nancy's still not home? Are these the neighbors playing music like this? Oh, that was his own music. That's where have you been? Yeah. She's a, a double feature. <sighs> oh, she had no reaction, hesitation. She had her full experience with him. Or if you um got to know him really well. Yes, we both were. Oh, okay, what's she gonna say? Oh, okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. 
right? Yeah. Uh huh. He sure did. She's dangerous, huh? She's okay. Because I married you. Oh, he said that because we just didn't hear it though. He's not a good psychiatrist. Huh? Okay, oh, uh, yeah. That's what she So she did the crime twice. What is that thing on the front of her dress? Is that her decolletage or that's a design on the dress? You told him to come here. Yeah, that's him at the door. So that's him, Yancy. Uh huh. Is she? Oh, I thought she was going to go answer it. So, Nancy's dangerous. Oh, is it? Mm. What's it been about? Two months. Oh, she just, yeah, told the whole thing. Her running up to him and saying, get me out of here, Norman. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Um, I, there was never any bracelet. Putting her hands on his shoulders. All right, you better leave, yeah. Yeah, pretty bad one, dude. You're a pretty bad psychiatrist because you have a um, whole entire K I L L E R on your hands, and she got you hypnotized, dude. I mean, he, I mean, he's a professional. He should be able to. He said, as it is, everything about her should be a red flag. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so... This fool got the story about the locket. And he doesn't remember that it was connected to the bracelet. Yeah, so you're just handing out pills. Um, well. Okay, I was going to say, his name is Clyde, right? Oh, what's he got a painting? He's bringing a painting to this fool.
Okay, bye-bye. Oh, he needs to go... Okay, so a doctor... And give him this painting. Is that painting of her? That is your feet. Oh, okay. Without her eyes on. <laughs> Good gosh! I had a hard time in Thunder Road when they got rid of Robert Mitchum. I don't like that. She's affected. This fool just works wherever. how this sounds like the song that Dinah is singing in Philadelphia's story I mean, just the cadence of it, obviously not the lyrics, but <laughs> is that where she got it from? I'm getting a little tired myself. She's doing just it again. Well, I mean, it's just the woman asking for it. I mean, it ain't her fault at this point. It is not her fault. Yeah. Yeah, that was very much so. All right, she handed it to you. Okay. She did it four or five times. <sighs> it's just close to my bedtime, that's all.
the weather was so bad. How long are they here? Okay. This dude, I can tell just by his voice, is in, um, down Argentine way. <laughs> Why is he looking at her? I thought she didn't believe anything. Because it's, she seems to like old jewelry, huh? If any of the gossip on her is to be believed. Bracelets, necklaces. Um, okay. Can you just break through the glass, though? Is it behind glass? Look at him. Oh, what is he looking at her like this for this far along? Y'all been living here for a long time now. she have stolen this stuff under this glass does she have some of it on her right now as they're leaving is is that lady's necklace not on <laughs> is she noticing Oh, does she have it on? And she just needs to tighten up her collar. <laughs> What's he looking at? Oh, he thinks she's just got it in her purse. <laughs> she put it in her luggage, right? <laughs> she took it. Oh, what is it on him? He thinks he, she slipped it into his pocket. Oh, he's going to try and have an excuse to get into her cigarette. Look, look at how... Oh, she doesn't have them in her purse. He's going to try a couple of times, I feel like, to get up into his purse. Or get her to get up into it. He needs matches now. <laughs> is, is he going to want to put it back in her purse for her? Okay, so the war is going on. They just managed to get leave for like a weekend because they are always on duty. Oh, he's going to try and peek in there real quick. She needs to get under the light. Don't you need to follow her? Why does she not have her key now? Is she gonna dump out her purse? Is she gonna be like, oh my gosh? You thought I stole that necklace. Uh, 
I like her cute little hair. Her hair is so cute in this movie. Of her earrings. Mm hmm. But he didn't just stop it. This bitch took jewelry, huh? Like, she, that was how she started. I didn't take the necklace. Um, well, because it was the bracelet, but then also, um, dude's wife's necklace, right? Didn't that get stolen too on top of him <laughs> losing his life? He goes, but she don't feel the call of duty. What's she gonna stay home for? Bitch, why am I gonna call you? It was nothing. She's sending him on his way. <laughs> if they want her, they will call her. Where is this necklace, chick? Where you got the necklace, for real? <laughs> oh, is she gonna abide by the blackout rules? Okay, yeah, so this movie is filmed in 46. So this stuff is a flashback. Oh, did their place get hit? Was loud. Oh, so his little apartment complex has been shelled. Where is she? Oh, yeah, the whole building is down on the ground. Well, I don't know this fool ain't going to find the necklace. He isn't going to find her, but he's going to find this necklace when he takes this lantern right now. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. I, he sees it. In, <laughs> he's coming up to this necklace right now. And all of this shit. <laughs> how he found it. He didn't see it from across the way. Wow. Is this girl underneath the rubble? Oh, I know the bracelet. It's the necklace that was stolen. Yeah, and that bracelet. <laughs> oh. 
She's so pretty, huh? <sighs> she is so pretty, huh? They really don't. They didn't bank on her enough, right? I mean, who's prettier than that? Oh, she divorced. Okay. She put this full into a breakdown in the ward. Okay. Well, I mean, he's got a lot on his plate compared to what the doctor got from Mitchum and everybody's just a liar. Oh damn. Well that's a a lot to not a libel he's gonna sue for libel. Okay, yeah. Oh okay Nancy, who's this? Oh, they were never married for five years. Harry said they were married for five years. Okay, how? Well, now that they're about to be alone, girl, Dash said you could still you could wish me happiness. <laughs> we were married for five years. And I just played like we were not married at all. Well. Now her hair looks like Mr. Lucky. Oh, so he was just her psychoanalyst. That's the extent of how she knew him. All right, yeah, because she got to go get her wedding dress on. Who the hell has this little party right before the day of their marriage? I have never seen this reception happening the day of. Would you wear this? <clears throat> yeah, she said that the she did. Wow. Um, this is the reason why Nancy. Wow. Okay, is she done now then?
I told you this is the first time watching it from start to finish. I don't recall this part of it. Um, Nancy. It's all, it all went downhill. Is she about to pass out? Is she about to have a breakdown? I had seen that picture and I think that that picture is on the board on our Pinterest page. Oh, is she having an episode right now? Nancy came back and got homegirl's brother. She said that her, when they used to play, when they were little girls, her older brother was somewhere. We never saw him. Why is she walking down the aisle by herself? Well, yes, her father has passed away, but somebody is not doing this for her anyway, giving her away. Okay, she's finally, okay. All of this crime. <laughs> Took his wife's diamond. Is she gonna pass out? Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Is dude still there? Okay. <laughs> does, it, does everybody need to believe him now? <laughs> Is he the doctor? Started with you, bitch. For the family's name, him. Oh, so yeah, dude is, dude still trying to be her man, her husband. Oh, she's walking on her own. Is he coming with? What kind of a state is she in? Does she understand that she is going voluntarily? try and undo all of this that you set into motion. It is so loud. I mean, the sound quality is excellent. I took it all the way down to six right now. <laughs> oh, wow, people. It's a trip of a movie, huh? It's a trip of a story. RKO, an RKO picture. We love it. All right.
Okay, we have end credits. Let's see here. Dr. Blair, Brian Ahern, Norman is Robert Mitchum. Yeah, Gene Raymond. Okay, well, I missed the rest of that page. That woman performer was named Queenie somebody. All right, like and subscribe. We will see you tomorrow. If you hop on over to the member site, we've got Singing in the Rain coming. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.